These ghostly exhalations are proof that the sponge is actively pumping. With no mouth, it sucks water directly through its sponge-like body walls, which are shot through with millions of narrow canals and tiny chambers. How does it do it? What secrets hide within the belly of this beast? The best way to find out is to enter one of the many portals into the sponge's secret inner world. Drifting along with countless single-celled organisms, we feel the tug of a current. In the wonderland within, this sponge's cells all work for the common good, but they do it in wildly different ways. As the current draws us on, we pass sponge cells that are making new spicules. The walls themselves are treacherous. They can simply engulf their unfortunate prey. As we are drawn through ever narrower passages, the current slows until we burst into one of the sponge's millions of tiny beating hearts. These are coanocytes, cells whose whip-like flagelli powers the pump. The flow quickens again as it whisks us away, through the labyrinth of canals that lead out, into the sponge's central cavity. What once seemed barely alive is actually a living animal, more complex than we could have imagined. The sponge's pumping does more than satisfy its hunger for food. In fact, its sex life depends on pumping as well. Half a billion years ago, these were the very first animals to reproduce sexually the first to combine sperm and egg to create offspring. Set adrift, some sperm will be lucky enough to enter another sponge of the same species. If the sperm are truly fortunate, they will fertilize the eggs within, 